it's impossible to stay germ-free. Tara's a mom. She always tries to keep herself clean, and she often wonders if she's doing enough. Hi, doctors. I'm a full-time working mom. I've got three kids. Mom, can we go shopping today? Two dogs, a turtle, of course my husband. Boys, it's time to get up. I'm a wife. Bye, honey. Have a good day. I'm a full-time consultant. I barely have time to eat, let alone clean up around my house. Okay, guys, lunch money. Come on. All right, are we ready to go? Everybody got everything? Your lunchbox. Where's your lunchbox? I know I fall short on cleaning my house. Everybody's always talking about these germs that are right around us every day that we touch, ones that can be dangerous. Oh, there's cat hairs on it. <laughs> Is there anything I really need to worry about? Tara's here with us. Welcome, Tara. Thank you. Thank you. So what, what makes you so curious about this? Well, friends and family are always discussing it, what needs to be done to keep things clean, and that the things you touch every day are the things that are probably the dirtiest. I'm certainly not a germaphobe. I'm probably the least germaphobe of anyone I know. But I, I figured I'd better find out which things are the most concerning. Mm -hmm. But you're, you're curious because we're all a little bit curious. What is yeah, on our cell out. phone? and what's on our credit card. So before the show, we swabbed Tara's purse, her ATM card, her keys, and her cell phone. We sent them off to Labs Incorporated in Centennial, Colorado. We wanted to see what germs that you were carrying with you. A lot, I'm sure. So uh, anyone curious? Yes. 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 Yeah, I'm it, it, it's a little frightening. So on Tara's purse, remnants of animal and human feces. Ew. A bacteria often found in the lungs of cystic fibrosis patients, E. coli, staph bacteria. The cell phone also had remnants of animal and human feces, and species that can be associated with diseases such as even meningitis. Your keys and, and, and your ATM card also had bacteria, but none that are particularly harmful. But, but what's interesting here is everything, Everything is coated in bacteria. We live amongst germs. We just don't see them. And I think the purse is the biggest culprit for women because, you know, if you go to the bathroom somewhere in a public place, you might put it on the floor. And you have to just be real cognizant about putting it up on something. And, you know, and also when you come home with groceries, the first thing you want to do is put it, like, on the kitchen counter. You have to be careful because that's just going everywhere with you. You know, restaurant, you don't want to put it on the we, floor. We can't stop touching things, obviously, but it's those right. things we keep coming back to. Mm -hmm the cell phone, over over the purse, over. over and over again. Every time we touch something, we then go to that. Those are, gonna, those are the spots that are going to have the most germs. And you know what? Here, here's the reality of the scenario. We're not doing this to scare anyone. It's good not to be a germaphobe. I'm just like you. I am the yeah. farthest thing from a germaphobe. What I'm very conscious of is I know everything I'm touching has germs on it. So if I'm using my cell phone before I eat lunch, I'll wash my hands. So you're always going to have germs around you. The one place you need to get them off is your hands. You can't wipe everything down. You can't do it. you got to wash your hands before you come into contact with someone else or certainly before you touch your eyes, your nose, or you eat your lunch. 